Good morning, folks. We've got an update on space weather, a look into deep space trouble for astronomy, geodynamics, and solar climate forcing. We are starting with our star following the limb eruption that began the day yesterday. We find a total lack of more eruptive activity. We see a large coronal hole incoming on the south. The solar flaring is dropping, as you can see here on the X-ray flux. And while there are active regions, they are quiet. We do see plasma filaments are around as well, and those will be monitored for eruptions as well as the sunspots. Solar wind telemetry shows a calming plasma stream, resulting in geomagnetic conditions dropping down to very quiet levels as well. So let's go back in time and deep in space. There are several, quote, unbreakable expectations of what the galaxy should look like, of course, those have a habit of breaking. And James Webb is continuing the legacy of Hubble and demonstrating exactly that, revealing yet more tension with the standard dark matter models. Seems to be little other than those tensions in astronomy of late. Up next, we have a seismic control on the length of day, the subtle changes in Earth's rotation rate. We know the atmosphere, oceans, and space weather impact these geodynamics, but earthquakes have a profound effect as well. We're on to solar forcing of the atmosphere, and today we'll hit two of the pathways to global effects. In addition to the direct particle push into the atmosphere during impact from coronal mass ejections and the modulation of cosmic rays, which directly impact cloud cover, sunlight penetration, and storm activity, there is the flare effect. Before any of the particles arrive or enhancement of the solar wind, the solar flare X-ray light itself has an impact down to the D layer of the ionosphere. And when that floor of the ionosphere is impacted, that's the ceiling of the global electric circuit, which modulates surface pressure, wind, precipitation, and temperature. Finally, we see yet another study of the direct line of effects from solar wind excitement of high latitude geomagnetic activity, impacting the tropics via prompt penetration electric fields, which send the equatorward traveling waves through that same ionosphere, and which also impact the global electric circuit. These waves have several components, from a several-hour ionosphere disruption propagation to instantaneous impacts through the Earth ionosphere waveguide. Everything about how the sun impacts the atmosphere, weather, and climate, which you'll have trouble finding in the mainstream news but which is well documented and published, is accumulated and described in our book Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. Links to that, our other books, merchandise, and much more is found below the video in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.